Well, it's the middle of the night now, just digging this out. So, um, yeah, it's been dumping snow all night. Quite windy initially. Um, it's eased off now a little bit. So it looks like another um, at least 20 centimetres since we set up camp last night on top of the 25 centimetres yesterday. So, yeah, fantastic dump over the last 24 hours. And it's still dumping now, so it's actually made packing up quite a challenge. But we're packed and we're going to head off and we're going to find our food drop. So we've just skied a bit over 2k up the road and uh, it's actually taken us almost an hour. Really hard work in this fresh snow. Just thankful for two things. One, that I'm not on snowshoes and two, that we can alternate and take leads. So we've just arrived um, well in the vicinity of our first food drop near Mount Skeen, maybe within 30 metres of it. I put it here in winter with my kids in, in the night with no snow. It's a bit different now with uh, a metre of snow burying it. Really hoping we can find it. Only slightly stressed. I'm four foot down, or at least. Um, haven't located it yet. It's in this vicinity. The GPS puts it within a few meters. Might be doing a fair bit of digging today. So, so we've been looking for two and a quarter hours to try and find this food dump, and we think we've just found the uh, marker that marks where it is. Completely different in the in the snow. <laughs> as opposed to when there's no snow. I tied this marker, it was above my head height, and it's down around below the knee at the moment. So um, it's within a metre and a half of this spot, so that's a big relief. So it's been a huge drama, about two and a half hours to look for the little blue tag that tells us where to dig. Half an hour of digging, trying to locate it. And then finally, you can see the last drama, it's actually trapped underneath the log. Don't know why I'm so excited opening our first box because I know pretty much what's in it. We're seeing we put it here. I don't remember anything too much exciting, but you never know. Well, uh, it's chocolate. Oh, corn chips. Nice. Well, we've just left our food drop. And as you can see from our skis, they're balling up massively. Um, so the snow is sticking to the base, which means that effectively just huge snowshoes can't glide at all. Luckily, I think I've got some uh, wax that I can put on and help us slide down the hill. So we're actually expecting this to be relatively easy to ski down the full drive track. It certainly is not. Ironically, I thought once we found the um, food drop, all our uh, worries were over, but uh, I must admit it's hard work getting down this hill. Uh, it's just, there's no base. But we've just about reached Rum Saddle. So we're certainly below freezing level because it's raining at the moment and um, we're still pushing through more trees down over four wheel drive tracks. And uh, I think it's ironic that I was wishing for uh, fresh snow a few days ago. I'm over it. <laughs> we're pretty soaked, um, tired. Um, mind you, this snow shovel has saved our lives today in terms of finding that um, food shovel.